it, I'm going to like we wanted to, and I'll be able to tie him up. What's up, DIY Nation? We're back out at our stair remodel in Gallatin, Tennessee. And the last time you guys were with me, I was explaining to you that I was on the worst set of steps that I had ever seen. Let me tell you, these things were a total wreck, and there was a lot to do if I wanted to make it back to drywall. So I came up with my own solution, made my own baseboards and my own skirt board, and you guys got to see how we installed that, how I painted it, how I cut it up with the router and everything like that. But today, we have got a whole lot more things on our plate. I I've already got the baseboard and one of the landings installed. I just got to get this next one installed, get the stair nose figured out, and also put the stair nose on the main set of steps so that I can wrap carpet around them. There's a lot to do, guys. So let's don't waste any time and jump in right here where we left off on the next landing. So as you guys can see, I already have the top landing installed and I wanted to make sure I got that in so I could go ahead and set the baseboard down over there to the right. But the second landing on the bottom needs to be done. And the way I did it was just take all the measurements for a triangle and then I put a bunch of pieces together. That way I can just measure the measurements from the triangle and transfer it over to this big giant floor that I put together outside. That way I can cut it all in one piece. And the reason for that is because I need that front to be super straight across. Because I'll be putting a stair nose on there that I'm going to be making. You guys hang around to the end so you don't want to miss that one. team here we go let's go take a look at where we are on the progress so here are the stairs as you can see uh, I'm not sure where we left off on our last progress report but I'll just for those of you who are just joining us just jump in and I'll show you that right here there was a lot that went on I had to put a lot of thought into this and I just went ahead and just redid the risers down here and they all looked a mess and they were all like this right here we're gonna do carpet on the rest of that but I was able to make some custom baseboard with my router. We discussed that earlier and then I was able to rerun all this base back around. And by making my own, I was able to make my own skirt board and tie it into this. Now, as you can see, we are just about ready to rock and roll with the, the final what it is we're gonna do here. And let's talk about that right quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and cut some stair noses that are an inch and a half thick. And they're probably gonna be about seven of an eighth deep so seven and eight out this way right here and that is because I'm going to be putting carpet on these going wall to wall so I'll be putting tack strip over here on this part of it and on that part of it across the bottom and everything I still have a little couple things I need to fill in at the bottom and then we are going to bullnose wrap these with carpet and pads so that way that's why I'm putting the stair nose here so I have actually something to wrap around right here does that make sense anyway this is where we are right now everything looking good we got it all tied in and uh, the baseboard, I, like I said in the hallway, I just made it match that way you can't even tell once you get inside those bedrooms over there. It looks like the same baseboard. Anyway, we still got to do quarter round right there and I'm going to be custom making stair nose for these stairs right here and these landings down here. So that's what's going on here in Gallatin, Tennessee. I'm gonna get out here right now. I bought a couple two by fours and a two by eight. The two by eight I'm gonna to use to cut up and make the stair noses. And the two by fours, I'm gonna make my custom stair noses for the laminate down here. All right, guys, I'll check back in with you. Holla. Oh, my God. 
seam. So that's gonna do it for the stair nose on this. Now up at the top up there, I'm gonna be doing a stair nose that I'm going to be custom making because we got laminate floor up there. So that's gonna be one like you'd buy in the store, but we're just gonna have to stain it ourselves. Also, I'm gonna be doing the same thing down there on those landings down there. So you guys hang tight. I'm gonna go get that stuff ready and start cutting it up. All right, holla. These are gonna be for my wood stair nose for the laminate. Try to get the prettiest ones with the most wood grain so it wouldn't chip or pieces fall apart and be easy to run through my table saw. Not to mention I bought a new blade for my table saw. I decided to try that spider blade. Why? Not because I thought it was going to be better, but because it was, it was $29 and the other blade was $37. All right, so we're going to bust that thing out and change the blade on this table saw too. Okay, friends, so here's where we are with this. I went ahead and cut up a couple 2x4s. I bought two 2x4s to make these stair noses with, and I, I, cut, I, got a, I got a quarter of an inch shim, and then I actually got this right here, which is the thickness of the floor. So to show you how I'm going to come up with the stair nose and how I've decided I'm going to go with doing it. So let's just take a look down here. I'm going to point the camera down. All right, so I definitely want it to lip up on top of the floor. And so this is going to be my lip up. So I'm calling that a quarter of an inch right there. I'm going to make that flush with the top over here. And then I'm just going to scribe that. That's going to give me my quarter of an inch. Now the flooring, you can see the flooring is going to be right here. I'm going to go ahead and make that flush again and then scribe that as well. Now I have my two marks on there, how I want this thing to look. So the thickness of my floor, that's going to be sitting on the actual floor over there at the landing. So I want to make sure. Plus, there is the, the pad. The pad is about probably, let's just go like that thick right there. I'll, I'll use that for my pad. You can see. All right, so that means that if I want this to lip up on top, and then I want this to sit down on top of the floor, I'm going to have to make myself a mark somewhere about right there. I mean, that may be a little bit too big because... Uh, we're lifting way up on that floor. So let's, uh, let's bring that back some, let's bring that back. I'm looking over there, about to say right there. Okay, does that make sense? Probably not, but anyway. And then this right here is going to go about right here. So we are back and it's the next day. It got a little bit late on me last night, but I did get these stair noses started. So I wanted to talk you through what's about to happen. So as you can see right here, this is my quarter of an inch. This is the part where I made it a quarter of an inch. You could go, I wouldn't go too much less than that. Cause you just, there's a point right here where it just gets a little bit weak. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want it to break. Even though this part will be setting on the floor and glued down, it's not gonna take any chances. But this part right here will be what lips over top of my laminate. And then this is what'll sit on the floor. It's the thickness of the laminate plus the little bit of pad. And then this right here, of course, this is a huge nose, so I'm not gonna keep that on there. This thing will get cut down. Although I could do it, then it would kind of match what, what's up there. But we're clearly changing from carpet to laminate. So I'm gonna make this nose a little bit smaller. Not too much, but you can see my line right there and I'll just come back down a little bit so it lips over top of my riser does that make sense all right so that's the step I am up to next I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these cut up and milled there's three of them to do one long one on the angle and two straight ones so you guys hang tight and I'll holler back at you in a minute let's go 
Okay team, so I'm about to run these things through my table saw, but I wanted to go over something really quick, okay? So, uh, I, like I told you, I'm gonna just probably put it right there. And wherever I put this first one, that's where I'm gonna put the rest of them, that way they all match. And then after I run these through and get them the thickness that they are going to be, I'm gonna grab that little small router that we talked about the other day from Harbor Freight, and I'm just gonna do a round over. So, I'll change the bit, you guys can watch that to see how easy and quick that is to change it over, and how I'm making this look like a stair nose. Well, right now, it's an inch and a half thick square. All right guys, let's Let's go. That's pretty good right there. All right. Taking it down a little. You want it to be higher or just to the top? Just a little bit higher. If I cut my fingers, I don't want to cut them a lot. What do you guys think? I'd say that looks like a stair nose. I'm keeping it. Okay team, so check this out. I got the rag here. I'm fixing to start staining. Now the ones that I've grabbed is golden oak. I got uh, walnut, dark walnut, and honey. And I'm not sure what they're gonna look like because they look different when they're on oak, when they're on pine. So we're doing on pine. And it was a little dark when I did it on the oak. So I'm hoping I get a little bit of a light brown on this. Uh, so one of the tricks I did on here is to go ahead and put it on in layers and then come back with a sander and, and sand it off and then put a clear coat on it because the wood in there is full of like, it, it fades. It doesn't just chop off from light to dark. It, it just kind of fades. So it makes it more splotchy. So that's what I'm, the, the effect I'm going for. I'm going to start off with my golden oak because it is the lightest one. I'm pretty sure it's going to go on dark, but we'll see. It may be all I need. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. That's awesome. guys coming in with the dark so I will try that is honey see what honey looks like on top of that first and then we'll bring our dark walnut in Ooh, look at that so I don't need a lot of it just enough here and there splotch it all around like that right there We're getting there. We are getting there. So the contrast goes from here, you see, to here. So um, this is just my base I'm starting with. These colors right here. 
there's more in there and they actually do have some of this in there but there's a lot of this dark here so eventually we'll get to the dark walnut and we'll get there may even go ahead and bust it out on this and see what it looks like on one end all right guys here we go not like exact but uh, that, that's one of those kind of darker ones that matches a little bit more but this is pretty good I like all right fam so you know how it is when you was young and you wanted to pull them all nighter so you had the stamina to do that well I'm hoping we can do that tonight because it is absolutely crunch time and our tenant is moving in tomorrow morning so it is already four o'clock and I haven't even got started on these steps as far as the finalization goes because I've been going through the house working on other things. But you guys have waited long enough and so have I. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these bottom stair nose down here. That's the first order of attack is to get them cut and get them installed. That way I can call these landings done and move on up to the carpet. I know that's what you're waiting on. Now, let me just tell you, I've given this warning before. I am not a carpet installer. So when you look at my methods, don't look at it as the holy grail of how to install stairs. This will probably be my fourth or fifth set of steps. So I can tell you this, it may not be right, but I'm getting a whole lot faster at it. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. expansion gap over here you see what I'm saying and I'm also able to lay it down and have a good uh, quite a bit glued and nailed to this and then my stair nose coming over hanging over right there but uh, the problem is is I got too far away from this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use some CA glue and glue that piece back and then also i think this nose is sticking over a little bit too much i think i'm going to nibble a little bit away from that right there which will allow me to push it back so once i put the parts in with the ca glue i'll probably end up having to take more off of this you'll never be able to see it but i did want you to see that hey man i make mistakes too i just you got to figure out how to fix them and you'll see once this is all done nobody will ever see it and structurally it'll be fine because this is the part you step on and if you're stepping over in the corner over here as opposed to middle of the step what's wrong with you use the steps come on let's go all right all right, so this piece needs to go back on. So I'm gonna apply the CA glue here. This stuff is amazing. If you guys have never used it, um, check out CA glue. Look it up on YouTube. I think I even made a video for it, so you can check that out, or you can just go look it up. But it's two parts. One, uh, one's the glue, and one's the accelerator. And pretty much, once you bond them, you got it between eight to eight to ten seconds to get your piece situated because it's done. It's over. It's, it's glued. So there we go, I'm holding that for let's see, five, four, three, two, one. I mean it's stuck. Alright. So now that I have that put back on, it's like it's like it never happened. I mean I know there's a slit there, but that's where I'm gonna cut anyway. That part was good. Uh, I just gotta figure this out right here and then fill in that crack. Alright you guys, so here is the finished product. Now I did put some uh, wood putty in there. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more and then we'll just put a little light sand on it, but it turned out fine. 
This is going to be the first steer nose and it lifts over the riser just perfect like we said. And now where I cut that piece of baseboard right there. Alright, so right there where I cut the baseboard and slid the riser in, that's perfect. It actually came out pretty flush right there and flush right there. So that was nice. And of course the the stair nose lips right over the riser like we wanted to and I'll be able to tie in my cord around right there so that'll work out perfect and then I'll come right back over here what do you think about the baseboard though huh custom made custom made and tied it right up into that uh, into that skirt board that we made all right you guys so we're fixing to do this stair nose right here and then we are going to start our carpet so you guys hang tight and I'll holler back with you <laughs> So close. Ta -da! That's us guys, that's it. Now I'm just gonna get me a piece right there and just return it back right there so it's just not so dobbed off. Alright, that's the plan. I'm about to install this thing. team it was time to install a tack strip but as I was installing this first step I really started looking at the bottom of those risers and I thought man I really should probably put something in there because that's probably going to cause a problem once I try to put the tack strip down I won't really have anything to tuck behind I'm not really liking this right here, and I don't really want to fill every one of these up, but I, I, I might have to. Uh, just to give me something to tuck underneath once I put my tack strip down. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do that. Uh, man, that's gonna be, that's a lot of cutting, but I mean, I have them out there, so let's just cut a bunch of them, huh? Get right back. One and uh, I got all this cut too. Go ahead and nail this down. See, you're not a carpet guy, but I got one of these, so. Alright you guys, my next step was to go ahead and install all of the tack strip on the rest of the steps. Now there are plenty of videos out there on how to install carpet on steps. I suggest Floors by Southern Boys, he's got plenty of videos from start to finish. This however is a stair remodel from start to finish and this video was already so long so I didn't figure you guys wanted to see me install the tack strip on every one of these steps. You'll thank me later. I did want to mention in case you didn't know that tack strip does have two sides, a slope side and a flat side. You're going to want to put the slope side towards the part you're going to be kicking your carpet over. Now right here, I can't tell you guys how helpful this carpet staple gun is. It has helped me in so many situations when it comes to tacking carpet down for transitions or whatever, but I generally use it the most when I'm doing a set of steps. You also need a good tuck knife and maybe a kicker, but you could probably get away without it if you have a good tuck knife.
I generally start my carpet at the bottom of the steps, but I wanted to try it from the top this time. I'll continue doing it from the bottom. Actually, I did a couple steps and I went down to the bottom and started and met them at the top. I'm not sure why, it just seems like it works out better for me when I start at the bottom. Alright you guys, I'm not going to lie, I am exhausted. It is actually, it's actually almost 9.30 at night. I've been here since 7 a.m. so I'm pretty exhausted. We got these steps knocked out. Of course we were working on a lot of other things. I wanted to show you something a little different. The last time we did a set of steps, you guys know, we did the risers right here and they were white. And then we did the treads and of course we did a bull nose with the carpet and round it around. This is actually in reverse so what I did was ran the carpet all the way up to the top of this floor and I'm gonna cut this pad away because that's where glue's gonna go. But uh, once we put the nose on, it'll dip over top of this riser release. That's, in theory, that's what it was supposed to do. So anyway, that's the last thing we gotta do on these steps. I figure I'll bring you guys with me and we'll knock this thing out together. All right, let's go rock this thing. Here we go. Hey guys, I wanted to interrupt this video for just a second to mention something to you guys. I do YouTube videos and I also do floor and as you can see I'm doing stairs and though it does take a lot of time to do stairs, it actually takes a lot more long when you're trying to film and get everything set up. So I hope you guys can appreciate all the filming close-ups and, and all the instruction that I try to give you guys in hopes to bring you some kind of value or bring some inspiration to your project. So if you guys can appreciate that, help me out by smashing the like button so that YouTube will send my videos out to other people. That's all I ask. If you're going to watch the videos, please help me out by liking it. Hey, and if this is your second or third time back, you might as well become part of the DIY family and hit the subscribe button because we put out videos videos all the time we have two channels all right guys back to work last step Alright you guys, that's going to do it for this one. One set of steps from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope I brought you some value. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Peace.